Hi, today I'm going to show you how I made this card. I stamped three A2 panels in my MISTI so they'd be in exactly the same spot on the panel. I then colored them all with the same Copic markers. This card has three layers, so I'm going to show you how I chose which layer will be on top as the face of the card. One will be used with these floral dies, and one will be underneath the oval cut face of the card. This panel has a little black smudge, so I know I don't want that to be on top because you'd see the smudge. So I'd want one of these two to be the top panel, but I noticed that I colored a little bit out of the lines. So I'm going to cut the oval from this panel since the oval piece will be discarded anyway and just show through to the bottom layer. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Okay, so I cut out this oval from the center panel, and this I'm not going to even need. And I guess I didn't really have to color it in, but it's just easier for me to do it this way and not have to worry about coloring in pieces I miss later. So this is just going to be discarded. So now I end up with this piece, which I'm going to pop up over this piece. And you can see that it matches up because I use the MISTI in place the um, stamps exactly the same on each one of these panels. So this one will be popped up like this. And then I'm going to take these um, Pink Fresh uh, dies and I'm going to cut from this panel. So I know that I'm going to want um, this large flower to reach across this oval. So if you don't have any florals that are this long, you could always use a smaller cut oval and do the same thing. Um, but I really wanted something that was going to stretch from the white area here to the butterfly here so I could have some print all the way across. So I'm knowing I'm going to lay this basically like this. I'm going to use this um, butterfly. This is by scrapbook.com and I'm going to place it in this corner here. Everything's got to fit uh, within this A2 card. And then the last piece I'm going to be using is um, this smaller floral. And I'm gonna probably lay it next to the larger one like this. So I, I know this is how I'm gonna want it. So what I need to do is just put it over. I should have done it this way because I'm gonna cut the pieces from this. I'm gonna want it like this. So I'm, I, I put the piece with a cutout oval over this piece with the black smudge on it that I know I'm not going to use later. And I know I'm gonna want it somewhat like this. And then this butterfly fitting somewhere here. And then the smaller piece here in this corner. So basically, this is what it's going to look like. I'll probably maybe move this around a little bit so I can get a little bit more of the print, the printed stamp area in it. So that is how it's going to be. So I'm going to take these pieces down with some mint tape, or whatever. You could use washi tape. I'm using this mint tape. It's low tack and uh, it won't rip my image. So try to keep these in place a bit. Let's use a little bit of this. So it'll be like this. So I'll run this through my die cutting machine and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've die cut these pieces as you can see right here. Take this washi tape off. This piece. This will lay over this and then this will come here. I will go back and try to line it up the best that I can so I know where to adhere these pieces. The same thing with this butterfly. I'll take out all these little bits that are supposed to come out with a die and then that will go somewhere here and it'll be lined up. So let me go up and I'm gonna um, 
cut a piece of fun foam that will fit underneath this so that it'll pop up a little bit better and we can you can see what the final cart will look like. So I cut a piece of fun foam a little bit smaller than the um, A2 card. It doesn't have to be exact. It's just slightly, as you can see, slightly smaller. And then I kind of lined up the um, oval die and cut this piece of fun foam out, which also gets discarded. I, I use that later, use those scraps later, I save them. Um, and so now you can see that it, it fits pretty well underneath this um, panel. And what I'll do is I'll just trim it a little bit more just so it fits better. It doesn't have to look great because no one's gonna see it. So I'll just trim a little bit of pieces here because it's not exactly lined up. And um, my die left a small indentation around the uh, oval just from where it's cut. And I think I'm just gonna trim it a little bit more so that you can't see it when I uh, adhere the two. Okay, so I cut the fun foam, you can see, just rather raggedy, I guess, around the oval, and you can't see it. So that was the main point of that. And now you can see that when I lay, I'm gonna lay this on here later, I'm probably gonna have to trim this panel underneath just a small amount, maybe an eighth of an inch around so it doesn't show. But I'm gonna line this up. so that what's underneath matches with what is on top. You can see it's pretty easy to do. And then I'm gonna take these um, die cut pieces and I am going to place them on the top panel by li lining them up with the design that's underneath. And I'm thinking this time that I might even um, uh, die cut another one of these just out of plain white uh, heavier stock cardstock just so that I could lay it on top without it flopping around because this is pretty light it's 65 pound cardstock um, and it's flimsy so um, I'm going to cut it from some heavier cardstock so that it can easily lie here but you'll see that it'll everything will line up the way that it's supposed to based on the design, I just have to remember where it fits. And on the thinner pieces like this, it's gonna take a little bit more time just to find uh, where it lines up, but it shouldn't be too bad. I'd have to pick it up and look at it closer and then I'll adhere it. I can have either the entire flower just lying right on top of this panel or maybe even part of it coming out from the bottom so it'll come up at an angle like that. And the same with this last piece, whoops, which goes like this somewhere. I just have to remember where these pieces go exactly. Um, and again, I'm gonna have to look at it a little bit closer, but I'll cut just plain, heavier, 110 pound white cardstock and adhere it to the printed piece so that it'll be a little bit stronger and easier to to um, adhere here without it getting all bent up and that's pretty much it um, I'll come back in a minute after I cut everything down I'm going to trim this just about an eighth of an inch around put that together cut the pieces these three pieces either one or two times from heavier cardstock depending on what I need like this one since it goes diagonally across the entire oval I probably should have it be a little bit firmer um, and stronger so that it won't bend like this in the middle I don't want there to be a gap So I um, added two die cuts behind the printed one. So there's just plain white behind there. And then I uh, put a little pop dot, um, these tiny pieces here, just because it's gonna lay off the panel and I want it to stay up. 
So to line it up, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a tiny line, which happens to be the same black line that's right on this petal. And I can see that that's where this goes. And then, um, oh, before I line that up, you want to get these in the right spots too. Um, let's see if that goes like that. These come down. You can see where they line up, like by this petal, by the white space between the two petals, um, the stems down here. That should be pretty close to where everything goes. And then I pop these two tiny buds right here with pop dots so that they don't sink back into um, the panel where I cut it. Because remember, I popped it up with foam. So now you can see everything is kind of even. Um, and it looks pretty right. I already put down the butterfly. This one's pretty uh, stable because it's thick. I didn't pop this one, but I did pop these small stems because they're so thin. I wanted to be sure that they just don't get all bent. So now you can see, I hope you can see, how everything lines up. And I usually just take an acrylic block. It's a little dirty here. Um, usually take an acrylic block and just lay it on top, let the glue dry. And um, I think that's, that's it. Now all I have to do is uh, get a folded card and uh, attach that and I'll be done. Here's a completed card. I'm moving it around so that you can see all the dimension it has and how the print matches up. Thanks for watching today.